All right, uh, we've been working with uh, quadrilaterals, and then we did parallelograms, right? So we're going to deal with parallelograms again. And... Uh, how do I... Where's my little... Oh, yeah, I got a ruler. Um, there we go. <laughs> I couldn't find the little scrolly thing. When I, the recording thing goes over top of my scroll bar, so I can scroll that way, but I can't scroll the other way. So anyway, but, watch, boom, there it is. There's, well, do I know that's a parallelogram? No. No, because no, I don't know anything about it, do I? Okay, I don't know. Now, how would I know if that was a parallelogram? There's a couple things. If I was told a few things, what, what's one thing? If uh, you made... If you made the opposite sides parallel. Okay, if both pairs of opposite sides were parallel to each other, then I could say it was a parallelogram. Agreed? This is kind of review. But it also deals with what we're doing today. Uh, what would be another way to show that this was a parallelogram? What do you think, Chris? Um, isn't it if the opposite sides are equal? Yep, if the opposite sides are equal to each other. Okay, so all this doesn't have to be true all at once, but you could either have the opposite sides being parallel, both pairs of opposite sides being parallel, both pairs of opposite, opposite sides being equal to each other. That would make that a parallelogram, right? What else? Isn't something about the diagonals and triangles? Yeah, let's do something else before we get to the diagonals. There's something else about the angles. What do you think, Joanna? That's right, the opposite angles. If I was able to show you that the opposite angles were equal to each other, then that would be a parallelogram. You with me? Uh, yeah, let's talk diagonals now. So let's put some diagonals in there. There's a diagonal, and there's a diagonal. Right? What about the diagonals? Rachel, what do you think? Okay, if they, if they bisect what? What's the phrase we use? Do you remember? If they bisect, this one's, it's not just like this one's being bisected, but this one's being bisected as well. So they're both bisecting what? each other. Very good. Okay. So if the uh, if the um, diagonals bisect each other, then it's a parallelogram, right? Remember all that stuff? Okay, good. In fact, that's exactly what this lesson is today. I don't know it's a parallelogram at first, but if I was able to show that both pairs of opposite sides were parallel, then it would be a parallelogram, wouldn't it? If I was able to show, let's just jot these down, if... Um, We'll just shorthand it. If the opposite sides, I should say both pairs of opposite sides, and I'm just shortening it right now. If both pairs of opposite sides were equal to each other, then it's a what? Parallelogram. I'll just do this little symbol there. So if the opposite sides, if I was able to show that this side and this side were equal, and this side and this side were equal, then it would be a parallelogram. If the opposite angles were equal to each other. That's what Joanna said. Then this thing would be a parallelogram. And then what else do we say? If the what do we call these things? Diagonals. If the diagonals bisect each other. Bisect each other. Then you writing all this down there? Yep. Then it's a parallelogram. I think we covered it, except for one more thing. This is something that we didn't cover. Now, we did say that if the opposite um, sides are parallel, then it's a parallelogram. I kind of left that out. But that's kind of given in the definition of parallelogram anyway. Um, but here's something that we haven't talked about. If I showed that this side and this side, is that enough right there to say that this is a parallelogram, just showing one pair of opposite sides equal to each other? No, I would have to show both pair. But what if I couldn't? What if I couldn't show that this and this were equal? But I was able to show that that side and this side were parallel. So this one pair of sides right here are both parallel and equal to each other. If they're equal or parallel to each other and they're equal to each other, just this one pair. Okay, not I don't have to do that with both pairs. Just one pair. If they're equal and parallel, that's an, again enough to say that it's a parallelogram. So if one pair of opposite sides I'll just say one pair, yeah, let's say opposite sides. Might as well write it all out. Okay, so if one pair of opposite sides 
are both what? Equal and parallel, then guess what this thing is? Then it's a parallelogram. It's an ugly looking parallelogram. There we go. You okay with that? All right, so a bunch of ways. These are all theorems, and they're all basically converses of what we talked about before. Because what did we talk about before? We said if it's a parallelogram, then the opposite sides are equal, the opposite angles are equal, the bi diagonals bisect each other, okay? So we said if it was a parallelogram, then all that stuff was true. What are we saying today, though? If, let's say, if it's a quadrilateral and the opposite sides are equal, and the opposite angles are equal, or if and the diagonals bisect each other, then guess what the thing is? It's a parallelogram. Do you see the converse? If, then. We've done that a lot this year, haven't we? We've taken a right, we've taken a statement, a theorem. Chris, you with me? All right? Give you one more chance. That's it. If um if the opposite sides are equal to each other, then it's a parallelogram. How did we say it before? We said if it's a parallelogram then the opposite sides are equal, right? Today we're saying if the opposite sides are equal, then it's a parallelogram. Do you see the difference? That's a statement and it's converse. We do that a lot in geometry. Now, not every single statement is equal to its converse, okay? The converse isn't always true on every single statement, but on a lot of them, they are, and in this case, they are, all right? We, you with me on these? These are all theorems. Um, there's no, like, real name for all these theorems. That's about it. So let's um, let's do a quick little example here. Uh, actually, I've already copied the parallelogram, so let's just paste it, put it right here. I'll keep everything on the same page right there. Let's put some stuff in here. Let's say that this is uh, 56 degrees. Let's say this is 7x. Let's say this is 5y minus 26. And let's say this is 4y plus 4. Here's the question. It says, find x and y so that each quadrilateral is a parallelogram. We don't know what's a parallelogram right now, do we? But I want to find out what x needs to equal and what y needs to equal in order to make this into a parallelogram. All right? So, What's the relationship? Now, we're not going to do opposite sides or equal. We're not going to do anything about the diagonals, are we? So what do you think, Matt? Um, to find out what x equals, I would put 56 is equal to 7x. Right. Problem. I'd probably give 50, 7x equals 56, but it's the same thing. Right, and then solve for it. So x is 8. So there you go. So if x is 8, well, that's part of it, right? Now, if that's all I knew, that x was 8, does that make that a parallelogram? Not yet. I've got to figure out where y is because I need both pairs of opposite angles being equal to each other, don't I? So then, what do you do with the y's? Set them equal to each other, right? Because remember, if the opposite angles are equal, then it's a parallelogram. So I've got to figure out what x and y is in order to make this thing into a parallelogram. So uh, let's see. 5y minus 26 equals 4y plus 4. Math is easy. Subtract 4y which is y, add a 26, which is 30, and there you go. So if x is equal to 8, and if y was equal to 30, then this thing would be a parallelogram. Make sense? That means these two would be equal to each other, and these two would be equal to each other. Now that we know it's a parallelogram, what else could you say about it? You could say that the opposite sides were equal, couldn't you? You could say that the opposite sides are parallel to each other. You could say, if I had diagonals drawn here, you could say that the diagonals bisected each other now that you've shown that it's a parallelogram. Make sense? Okay. That's pretty much the kind of stuff that they're going to have you do. Not that hard. This is actually a good lesson to come back to after being away from this because it's kind of the same thing that we went over before. Um, it's kind of like a review. But it, it is different, though. Do you see the difference? Before, they told you it's a parallelogram, all this stuff must be true. Now it's saying, if this stuff is true, then guess what it is? It's, it's a parallelogram. See the difference? Okay. Well, my goodness, it just seems too easy, doesn't it? There's got to be something more to it. Is that a, is that a trick question? What? If too easy? Yeah. Nah. Oh.
Whew. All right, let me give you some uh, problems to work on. For homework? That would be for homework. Unless you finish it in class and you got lots of time, so yeah, you might you might finish it in class. Actually, pages. Pages uh, 414. I think I actually have 415. Now, I said 9 to 23, but there's a couple proofs in here I'm not going to make you do. No. So let's go 9 to 14. And let's go seven, 17 to 23. <laughs> All right. So it's page 414, 415. And we're doing numbers, I should put the number thing right there. Numbers 9 to 14 and 17 to 23. All right, we good? Yeah, I'm looking through here. I don't see anything that's any more difficult than what we just talked about. So I don't think you'll have too much trouble with this at all. Everybody say hi to Alyssa and see if she says anything tomorrow. Don't tell her we said this and then see if she really looked at YouTube and and watched it. Okay. Hi. Hey, what are we going to just say hi or just say what? Say. Just, no, that's not. Just say hi, Alyssa. Ready? Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah, let's say happy birthday, Alyssa. Happy birthday. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> let's say it anyway. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday, Alyssa. Okay.